It happened over the weekend. Yeah, uh, Dion, Coach Prime Sanders, and Colorado uh, decided that they didn't enjoy being 20 and a half point underdogs. No. And they opted to just give college football fans one hell of a game. Right? So, I have been pretty adamant about my distaste for Deion Sanders and Colorado and the turnaround of the program. Um, so, I, I've got something to say. Are you going to apologize? Every single one of you. Look what's next for me, Joe. I'm going to get that second bell. Where the f*** is it? They should have had them two belts ready. Spit showing for me. They're f***ing up both in the octagon. octagon. It's never been done before. I'm sure you'll get your second belt. But listen. That's for you. I've spent a lot of time, Joe. That's for you. Me? Slaying yeah. everybody in the company. Everybody in the company. Backstage, I'm starting fights off everybody. I've ridiculed everyone on the roster. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to That's absolutely nobody. The nobody. I ain't apologizing to nobody. You're not wrong. now. You were wrong, though. Not later. You were wrong, though. I'm not apologizing. Look, I am not going to apologize because one game is one game. No, you... I will say, I will say, I will say. They look like a real team. I, that's not what I'm saying. They do. I will say that their win against TCU, very impressive. Shador Sanders, wildly impressive breaking the school record. Travis Hunter did what I didn't think he could do. And, and. And what? Could be in the conversation for a Heisman. Could be. He could be. But, Woo! but, but, I am not going to sit here and apologize because it was one game. And if they would have lost, it would have been the same thing. It is a long season of college football. I will go out and I will say that, shout out, I will shout out Dion because if, if my son went out there and broke a school record when we were 20 and a half point underdogs, uh -huh. I would have been all over television saying this and that and the other. Yeah. But I will not sit what here. What do you think about them being ranked? I mean, you, you have to put them in the AP Top 25 because they beat a ranked team in TCU. I don't think it'll last. Um, again. Do you think they beat Nebraska? Probably. They probably beat Nebraska. Do you think ASU beats Nebraska? I think ASU beats Nebraska. You think I think ASU, ASU beats, beats Oklahoma State. I do think Arizona State beats CU. So we'll I, see. I'm not, I, but I, I'm not going to sit here and apologize for what ooh, I said because I'm still ooh, not wrong yet. Ooh, me. They don't have three Heisman candidates. Ooh, Dom. Me. Shane. My turn. Um, I would like to apologize. I picked TCU to cover the spread <laughs> <laughs> on bets. Uh, one thing I will say is, oh man, goddamn, <laughs> Dion Dunn built, <laughs> built himself a roster of like the. This is where I just didn't believe. Oh, I, I thought they would be. I didn't think they'd be abysmal by any means. I thought they would probably make a bowl game, but what I didn't believe was that they would be cohesive. And, and granted, that I'm not. The offense was explosive, and and the they, they've got some dudes. But that TCU defense is dog shit. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next couple weeks. CU's defense but, wasn't great either. But but the cohesion on the offensive line, the cohesion. Between the receivers, the cohesion, even when their defense didn't look great. I'm just so shocked that they were able to put a product on the field that looked as good as it did. And we'll see if it continues. But it it's it is impressive and give credit where credit is due. Dion is doing something very special. Uh and it's exciting to see because that makes college football so much more fun. Yeah. Having rooting interests like this. I mean, I don't remember the last time I woke up. Oh well, actually. It was the first day of college football, but like, <laughs> I don't remember the last time I was so excited to watch a TCU Colorado game Man. or insert two schools like that. But it, no, you're right. You're right. People that aren't interested in college football wanted to watch that game because of the story. And everybody line. has an opinion. And yeah, and that's great for the sport. Yeah. Uh, what's not great for the sport is some of the opinions being said about what Dion had to say after the game. And I think that's just Oh, I don't I don't I don't insane. mind what Dion had to say. And I don't mind You talk your talk. No, look, and I don't mind there are there were a lot of people out yeah. there that were upset with the way Dion called out a reporter out there. I think it was Ed Werder. Um or it was some yeah. major network guy about asking him, Do you believe yet? Do you believe yet? And for the same reason that a reporter has every right to make an opinion on whether or not they believe yep. that something's gonna happen. Dion, at the end of the day, we, when you beat a team in TCU, has every right to question that reporter and be like, what about now? Yep. Every single right. Every single right. 
But at the end of the day, LTC says that I'm drawing my line in the sand. I think what they did in week one was super impressive. Credit to Dion for getting that team ready and, and having just a, a, a crazy big road win. Shador did what he did. Travis Hunter, obviously. Oh, oh, um, oh. You got some more to say? A hand up. That man's game translates. Shador. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. But again, Dropping more dimes than a, than, than, than a machine that costs a dime. So put put a, put a dime in there. Yeah, there you I don't go. know what the phrase is. But we'll see. We'll see. Again, if Colorado finds a way to win this conference, I said it earlier, you're going to catch me in a clown costume right here, right on this podcast. And a Dion face tat. That's, nope, that wasn't a part of the, the rule. But I will sit here in a, in a clown costume. Uh, and you could throw tomatoes at me yeah. if you'd like for, for the right amount of money. 